Hello everyone and welcome back to Cities by Steven. You're talking to Steven. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button. Get that bell notification on so you don't have the next episode of Brockton County and Ontario themed city. And make sure to hit the like button too. The like button helps the channel a lot. We're following the monorail at the moment. And a lot of this is to showcase how crazy this bus terminal has become. The inner city buses have become a problem. The empty coaches, it's, it's just madness. It is backed up onto the highway. I don't know what to do. I guess I need to look for a mod that eliminates those empty buses because they're a little bit silly, not gonna lie. Well, uh, today's episode, we are going, whoa, <laughs> that scared me a little bit. Uh, in today's episode, yeah, look at this. Look how many there are. That's, that's crazy. Okay, uh, <laughs> there's a light post in the middle of this. <laughs> in today's episode, we are going to look at detailing uh, Mackenzie Square a bit more. Uh, and the reason why we're starting on the monorail is because we built it last episode. It's pretty cool. Um, and we're coming into the domestic station right now, or the domestic terminal. But uh, we're going to be building a bit of a metro hub, metro bus hub. We're going to be revitalizing that area for the third time. Um, but I think this is probably going to be the last time. Because we're going to be getting that uh, a metro station there. And that's going to be the express uh, tr tramp. Yeah, express metro into the airport uh, and uh, yeah that's gonna be fantastic to have and uh, yeah so let's let's uh, let's dive out of this now that we've done a full loop of the monorail system and let's show the issue yeah so what I did was I actually just turned it off uh, accepting them because it was when I started the, the, the episode uh, the buses were backed up into here and here so it was like it was clogging up the whole highway so I was like I I don't know what to do. I'm just going to turn them off for now. Uh, I really want this to work because it just makes sense thematically. But uh, anyway, so what did we do last episode as well? Well, we have a subway line that runs from the airport, connects into here, trenches itself all the way through here, and it connects to our main east-west line that goes into the city. Then we also have another line that connects from here into here because there's a station there already. Why not? And then we swing out. And we run alongside uh, High Street West, and we dive back in, we connect to the supports of this bridge, and then we go underneath the cemetery here, and that's where we stopped. Because we need to get uh, one or two subway stops in Packenhampton, it's going to really boost the value of the land throughout here. I don't think the value of the land is an issue anyways in Packenhampton, it's a, yeah, I mean, it's some of the highest valued land in the whole city. But if we do this, we can actually maybe look at getting uh, some high density into the area as well, which could be uh, neat in a future episode. What we'll do is we'll look at uh, kind of building up the older parts of the town to kind of fuse it better in the city because this is actually a pretty good view. You can see the height disparity, right? And that's something we need to look at fixing. Uh, so maybe we can do that today. Uh, but the majority of the episode is going to be taking place right over here. So what we had before was an intercity bus station. And we we're having the same issue that we were currently having. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, we also have a uh, subway stop over here, which uh, we're going to be removing if we do this. But we also have a station over here. It's a bit tricky because, like, this one's so close. It almost makes me want to connect up into here and swoop swoop in over this way. Um, like, I do, like, a whoop. Uh, and then we just continue the line. And then we can have... I mean, that might actually make sense because this is a bypass station. So I think what we'll, what we'll be able to do, ah, no, it's okay. I don't think that it works like that. I think we can get four stops in here, but I don't, I don't know if we can, you can get multiple stops in here. Starting off today's episode with a bit of a, a check. Yeah, look at that. You can. Holy cow. Will it work? Oh my goodness. Okay, maybe we don't. Maybe we don't need to revitalize this area because I do really like it. We built it up not too long ago. So if we can if we can get it so that we connect into here with a subway station, we swing out this way, and then we get uh, the express train to start this way, that'd be cool. Like right out here. So you have to take the metro from the city to here, and then you hop on the express, or you can just take the east-west line. But if you're coming in from the suburbs, it's so easy to get into Mackenzie Square um, or and Thornton Park, right? So I think that'll be a good 
kind of connection here. This is something that I'm kind of winging off at the top of my head at the moment as we speak. So uh, let's let's try to let's try to do this. Let's try to do it because then we don't uh, have to redo half the darn city again. Okay, so uh, the last episode we said we're gonna get a subway stop right in here, and I think uh, it makes most sense just to use the basic one. We're not going to use uh, any of the fancy stations. The fancy stations are really cool, but uh, I don't know. I just don't think it's going to really work in a situation like look how big they are. It's going to take us some prime real estate. So I'm thinking we just roll with uh, the OG ones. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this post office and we're going to move it. We're going to pick it up and literally move it uh, Oops, uh, next door. Just like that. Alrighty, and then we're gonna take our subway station and we're gonna place it right there. And then I'm gonna use move it and we're just going to adjust it like that. Alrighty, we're gonna delete that building as well. And we're gonna get uh, some commercial in right like this. So hopefully uh, that'll all play out. We'll see what pops up in here. I mean, this is prime real estate. So hopefully everything goes a okay. Let's just uh, move. No point in this building contains these. Okay, well let's uh, let's let's add that in. That's weird. Okay, well I just wanted to make sure that they uh, they weren't on the road, and it looks like we're good. Okay, well let's uh, let's continue along, and let's go into tunnel mode. Always make sure you click tunnel mode if uh, you use mods like uh, like this because whew, the amount of issues that I've had by accidentally not clicking it. Holy moly. All right, so let's uh, connect it to there. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to need to grab a bit of move it. And we're just going to extend it pretty much until this little concrete thing hits the road. And we're good. Okay. So now we have a nice cool subway connection throughout here. Oh, that's a fantastic building. Like a nice fancy restaurant or something like that. It says convenience store, but come on, that's a restaurant. Um, then we have another space for another one right here beside the movie theater. And this is a really cool little build we did a long time ago, back in June during Pride Month. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay, so let's uh, swing out and then we're gonna swing. Yeah, see like this is this was the issue, right? Like. It just makes it just made sense to just to connect right in here and maybe we still will but I think we'll try this out for now it makes a lot of sense for commuters coming in from the suburbs because a lot of the buses come into the station and then a lot of the trams come into and buses come into here um, the zoo is relatively connected well with Mackenzie Square and Thornton Square I know it doesn't say Thornton Square anymore but that's uh, that's where it is okay so maybe we can look at getting another stop right in here maybe right at the end of this road, maybe we can look at uh, taking this whole block out. The city has deemed this land extremely valuable. Whoops. I mean, because it is. It's it's right off of Algonquin Street, and then we have uh, Ward Street here. Now Ward Street, it's a pretty prominent street in Packenhampton. It's a bike lane. Uh, let me know if you want to name Ward Street. Yeah, I mean, why not? It's gonna have a uh, subway station right in here. Let's, let's delete this, and then we'll kind of make it a bit of a, uh, a higher density zoning. So uh, we can basically just plop that bad boy down. Sure, right? It works. I don't think, I mean, we could get this one to work, but <laughs> it's pretty cool, but I don't, I don't know. It fits perfectly too. And then we could get some trams in here as well. But it looks like the exact same same as one as before. It'd be pretty dangerous to uh, to have that hole right at the end of this road. Hmm. Yeah, because these ones won't work. I mean, it would it would be neat. And then maybe what we can do is we can get the express to go into here instead. No, no, no. I don't know. What I, what I really wish is that there was a uh, a stacked interchange or a stacked subway station like these ones. 
Oh, there's multiple. That just doesn't work. Okay, well, let's think about this. So we're connecting into here. We're doing a bit of a funky loop. Uh, maybe there's like a historic building that they can't destroy. So the city was like, ah, oh, darn, we got to go around. <laughs> so uh, I think what we'll do is we'll just stick with the, the OG one for now. And we'll place it right down in the middle here. Uh, it looks it looks cool. It works. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll take, um, let's say, let's, let's go back to our old favorite, the zoo path with decorations. Yeah, there we go. Oh, ground level. Perfect. And we'll click home so that uh, we don't build over top of anything. Yeah, you know, old faithful. Zoo path with decorations. <laughs> so let's uh, just grab that there. We'll extend this one out to the road. Uh, extend this one out to the road. I think we're a bit... Let's just undo what we did. Whoa. Uh, okay, let's grab this node. Oh. There we go. Grab that one and this one. Okay, fantastic. Fantastic. Let's actually just uh, take out the trees of that one and maybe these two. And we'll leave the trees in the other ones. I don't know. I don't know. I kind of liked uh, the trees. At least in the back one. How about that? Alrighty, so uh, now let's think about this. This is some fantastic commuter areas. We are going to zone this up high density I think what we'll do is we'll take out the middle blocks right here and we'll get another path right through it uh, let's roll with oh, wrong one let's roll with this one Okay, we're gonna have to readjust this one. Yeah, I think we'll have to uh, upgrade this little bit right here for both of them. Or downgrade, I guess, would be the, the better term. Alrighty. So we have a cool little park throughout here. And let's check what district this is in. So this is in Pack and Hampton. I don't think we have a high-rise band in here, so I'm going to place that in right now. Uh, though, maybe we need to make a second little district in here. Yeah, maybe let's do this. We'll make this. Uh, how about uh, whoever comes up with the name? And, uh, you know, if, you, if we get a couple, I'll, I'll choose one. But... Uh, Sorry if I don't choose you, if I don't choose you, I really apologize, but you know, you can, you can always use it for another name suggestion, but we'll say whoever names this street, Ward Street here will also, will be named with this little district. It's not gonna be a big district, but what we'll do is we'll take it out to uh, here. And I'll just be like a little uh, inlet right through here. Yeah, that works. Some, some gentrified land. Uh, it goes right into here. Yeah, I don't think we need to extend it out this way. Yeah, it'll just be right in here. Let's make it a bit awkwardly shaped too. Uh, so we'll take that side. Make sure that's not there. And then we'll extend it out into this block. And the reason why I'm kind of doing this is because, you know, gentrification happens at a uh, at a local level, right? So what we'll do here is uh, we'll grab our districts and we'll go uh, self-sufficient buildings. And then we'll also do organic local produce. Uh, and I don't think we need industry in there at all. But uh, we also need to add in some policies. We're going to hop into the district policies. And we're going to go with high rise band, which is right here, I believe. Nice, and we'll also uh, encourage biking because there's a bunch of bike networks through here. Oh, nice, I got a, uh, an achievement, destroy. 
Looks like this district's on it. I don't know what it is. Uh, anything else that we really need in here? High tech housing too. I don't know what that does. Slightly increases the land value. Well, it doesn't need to be increased. Uh, but how about we do a uh, tax raise for high density residential through here too. Um, and tax raise. Yeah, it'll be like a we'll pump up this, this little district here. So uh, we're good. Everything should change up. We also hit 100,000 people uh, earlier, but I guess uh, I guess it went back down. Oh, darn. Oh my god, what am I doing? I was trying to do the picker. There we go. Let's get our guidelines back on. Holy cow. I didn't mean to destroy everything. I'm just trying to destroy people's homes. <laughs> Let's, uh, so we're out over here. I'm just uh, doing this because it's going to encourage um, development rather than having to rebuild over top of it. Okay, and then we took out these ones too. That looked like a giant complex, not just a couple houses. So I'm glad we did that. And we got the post office there. Okay, we're gonna move the post office to right here instead. And then we will take that out. I guess someone's gonna live beside the post office. That's okay with me. And then we'll take that. Perfect. Um, and then, oh, looks like we need some, someone, something building in there. Okay, we're good. Oh, and then we missed this over here. Um, okay, so let's actually take these houses out right here. And we'll go high rise. Alrighty. And how about we take out a small block, block right in there and put it in the high rise? And that should be good enough. Oh no. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? And that should be good enough to uh, encourage development here. So I'm going to just kind of wait on this to pop up and then we'll come back in and we'll make some historical and whatnot. I'm um, actually, I'm second guessing some things here. I think on this whole road, it should be high density. But uh, you know what, we'll make these a bit bigger. Yeah, that makes a bit more sense. developed so perhaps what we can do is we can just leave that blank and we'll put in a big tree and I mean a big tree right there <laughs> okay yeah like that healthy weeds well it is Canada um, so <laughs> yeah I really like this building that's a cool one this one's uh, a bit boring, but this one is, uh, is pretty cool. So we'll leave that one. Yeah, I think uh, maybe right in here we'll try and get another higher density building. Yeah, okay, so I'll, I'll stop fiddling around with zoning. I love just watching the zoning pop up. Uh, and let's hop back uh, into doing some uh, some transit. Okay, so... Uh, let's actually hook this up because it's going to encourage more people to move in too, right? So let's uh, do the basic curve and we'll just connect up right in there. Bring it out to about here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Almost broke my own rule. Perfect. Come out right to about here. Eh, it's not the, the biggest express system ever, but petroleum, eh? Hmm. Hmm. I need to work on that shortly. Okay, so now that we got that in place, let's uh, get our new line in. So I'm going to hold shift down, and apparently that allows me to do this. Create new line. Okay, this is an express line. 
and we'll come right through here. Yeah, so then the other line starts here and then it goes through, but this one starts in the middle here and then goes this way. So it's basically an express, but it's also a unique part of Packerhampton. So unfortunately, people in Packerhampton need to transfer, but that's okay. So it's going to be a bit of congestion over here. I don't think this is a bypass, is it? Maybe it is. Maybe, maybe we don't get a stop going this way. We just bypass. Yeah, cause it is a bypass. Okay, I get it now. So pretty much what, we, what we'll do is we'll complete the line. So you hop on, if you're, if you're going to the airport, you have two opportunities to hop on in downtown. And then you can also hop on in Myrtle Heights and pack and, and pack and station. And then you get out to the airport. But if you're coming into the in from the airport, uh, you swing out, you can stop here, you can hop on your buses if you're local. Uh, here too, you can, I guess, I guess you need to walk to the tram over this way. The tram, apparently. It's not a tram, it's a tram. Um, yeah, I guess because we're, we're kind of avoiding all these, but that would... Mm, okay, we might need to just do this. We'll have a bit of congestion running through there. So it might back up, but it just makes sense because of the tram lines, and that's the whole point, right? So unless we bypass over here on this side, and we just get it to start right here, run to the airport that might make a bit more sense but uh, if it congests up then we'll uh, we'll deal with it uh, another time but uh, we have Metro Line 3 which is uh, the airport uh, express uh, Hacken Hampton all right so we'll start with four trams I guess is what we have going on that's okay with me Let's check out how the other ones are doing too, because the uh, east-west uh, airport line has a ton of people on it. Which line is this? Which stop is this? That's Union Station. Okay. And where are they trying to go? Everywhere, including the airport. Okay, so that's good. So we'll go back over here. And this is the airport right over here, right? I don't know. That's the airport. Okay, where are they trying to go? Everywhere. Okay, so good thing we got this one going because then people can take that one up over here. But then we have this one, which runs right through here. And then once they get to Union Square, there's tons of transit options. So I think we're good. We might need to get some better connections up into here, but um, okay, so let's just readjust some of those things. I was realizing what I was doing. Um, so this is the East-West Airport, which didn't change its name. Whoopsies. Airport. And we have five vehicles on it. We have tons of people waiting, so I think we need to... There won't be any change, any like a uh, uh, battling of for space on this line. So I think we can, maybe we can even bump it up to eight and we'll see if that helps. I'll go back over. So we have the north south line, which does have a bit of battling to do. Uh, and it looks like we can probably take a tram off of this one or a train. Okay. And Metro line three, which didn't change because I forgot to press enter the airport express pack in Hampton long that's a it's a lot to say <laughs> uh, we could probably even just do three but I'll think I'll just leave four on for now okay you know what uh, I'm sure that like you know I, I pre-record right so if I'm, I apologize if there was comments from yesterday's video where I was like we're gonna redo this and then we actually didn't end up redoing it but uh, it's true like that like this is really like raw gameplay it's a let's play right so you know, when you're playing your city, I'm sure that you'll think about doing something and then halfway through, 
uh, you'll uh, kind of change your idea, right? So that's, whoops, that's kind of what we're going for. Uh, why yellow? I don't know. Why not? <laughs> uh, so let's see if there's any issues so far. Yeah, this guy is waiting. We're still waiting, eh? Taking that long yellow tram? Hey, you know what? This is this is working out pretty good. It's unfortunate that the bypass doesn't really work in this situation. It can't be like a four-line system. But uh, we could definitely make that work with a different tram station. But uh, we're going to try to do it with the infrastructure we have. I'm surprised that this. I guess it is a metal station, eh? That's amazing. Okay, well, because this would be the station that we would need over here, too. And I just don't think that it would fit, really. Yeah, I mean, we could change up the whole the whole look of it. You have to run it right here, and then we kind of bump out into the next station. But then maybe we can get some bus terminals in here. Hmm, okay, I'll think about that, because it does make a lot of sense to do that. All right, let's take a look at what we have going on over here. Um, we're looking at this one first. Uh, I think that's a pretty clean little look for a building here. So let's uh, delete these because they didn't zone in properly. And we'll leave this one. Uh, um, okay, so we have another exact same copy of that. These ones are really cool. I think I'll save these ones. Kind of look like they're built together. This is a perfect placement of this one, so we'll do that. And from the top down looks pretty cool too. I think we'll let some of the other ones continue to upgrade though. Okay, let's take a quick peek. Hmm. I don't love how these houses are turning out on both these sides on these sides. Maybe what we'll do is we'll take them out and we'll run some uh, commercial through here. Yeah, maybe we'll just do some of that and then we'll take these ones out and we'll make them a bit bigger. Or we could have run a pathway. Yeah, because it just it looks a bit silly, like they're so much different sized. Okay, let's uh, let's do that then. We'll just uh, mirror it on this side, and we'll take those ones out. Perfect. And then let's just uh, take a bit of surface painter. that would probably not be pavement on this side but we'll just get pavement right through there one more a little out perfect yeah that is a pretty dominant building I like it okay well we'll uh, we'll stop there and it looks like uh, the airport kind of has been running pretty well here. People are using this subway station. I'm glad we got a subway station out this way. Uh, that is another great building. We'll leave that one. Fancy boutique. Um, cover that in. Okay, and then we run out this way. And then we had a bit of wonkiness. I'm recording this right after the other one, so I haven't really fixed it. But then we're running. How many people are on this train? 40 people, yeah. This is great. Okay, now all the inner city buses are gone. Let's try it again. Let's see if it backs up again. <laughs> Alrighty, so uh, we got this in place now. Uh, we're gonna do a bit of work out over here today uh, for the rest of it. Um, we are making money, which is nice, slowly and surely, but you know, it is happening. Um, 
Oh wow, lots of people parking over here. Perhaps we need another parking garage then. And we're just gonna kind of work on this area a bit more. We're gonna keep it flowing, you know? Um, doo -doo -doo. What was it that I was looking for? Parking garages. Um, now I know I have an underground parking. And I was thinking that might look nice under here. Underground parking spiral. Can we get this to fit? I don't know how it, how it connects really. Large. Okay, so it doesn't really connect that well, does it? It does look pretty cool though. Maybe we get that over here instead of these. Yeah, that looks that looks a lot nicer. Okay, so we're just gonna scooch this over. Oh no, what am else what else am I moving? I didn't listen to my own rule. Oh man, we moved something over here, didn't we? I think we did, but what? I don't know. That's okay. We'll just back out of that and uh, check out how this is playing out. Because the game is a bit frozen at the moment, but like we said, very raw gameplay, you know? Okay, we're all good over there still. Ah, you see what I did here, folks? I still had things selected and move it. There we go, clicked Control Z, and it works. So that is why you always click somewhere else before you click move it, just like that. Boom, boom, because that can happen to you. Alrighty, so we'll just do that. Yeah, I think we need a bit more trees in here, but um, that's easy to do. Let's take these ones, put them in a line, start right about here. Uh, let's go with these ones. Or maybe we can try to find those exact ones that we're using for the pathway. Or we can just switch pathways to the zoo path. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Switch to the zoo path. There we go, it's a bit more green. Alrighty, so we got underground parking over here, and then what we'll do is we'll just get um, uh, other parking garages out this way. That's too big, okay, so we'll have to roll with, with these ones. Okay, we're gonna leave a bit of space for a path right there, so we'll get parking garage here and why are we doing so many parking garages well perhaps the city has so much space and they're like we gotta we gotta you know ask all the um, ask all the parking companies if they want uh, to have any uh, parking garages in the airport there we go we'll connect up just like that there's a bit of space between the parking garage and the subway station. I know we said earlier that this might become a park, but uh, maybe not. Maybe we can uh, get a plaza in there, though. Mm, maybe not that one. I mean, we're so close to fit that in, but uh, I don't think it's gonna really work. These ones are even bigger, right? Yeah. Okay, well, we can kind of make our own little thing, or we can, whoa, or we can just leave it. We can make it like a concrete jungle. We could, you know, increase the, uh, the coolness of the area by increasing 
by adding some paths. There we go. We'll just kind of make them connect up like this. And then we'll take the concrete out. And then we got a little bit of a, a green space here, so we'll just get a couple big trees throughout here. We'll try to uh, add some greenery to the area. Now let's go with some big tall trees. Uh, those won't really... I mean, some pines do exist like this. They're not like redwoods like this though. These are pines that I re-downloaded for the Quebec map, but we're not going to be able to do them, so I might just take them back, or we can use them in the city. I mean, they're pretty cool. Yeah, there we go. That adds uh, some look to the area. I guess I'll, I guess I'll keep them because they're, they're they are pretty cool. We're trying to keep the leaves all uh, to those to trees with leaves, not trees with. Pine needles, I forget the difference, I forget the names, but uh, that's okay. All right, right in here. So what I was thinking is we can get the uh, exhibition, what's it called? Expo Center, out this way. But it does cost a ton of money per week, but I was thinking we could center it right through here. It'd be pretty cool. Then we get a ton of parking spaces throughout this area too. So it's right along this back street here, which is why we've kind of extended uh, these larger roads. What the heck? Can you not go straight? Okay, well, you can go there, there, and there. This guy can go here, here, and here. What's the problem? The other guys, I don't really care where they go, but I wanted to make sure that that, that works. That's fine. Okay, weird. Very weird. Uh, all right, so then right in here, I'm thinking maybe we get just uh, some cool plazas going. I don't think we have any more to add in. I mean, we do have some things that we just haven't unlocked. Uh, that's not gonna go. Sorry, I'm just double checking that there wasn't something that I wanted to add. El something else I wanted to add in here. Uh, no, we're not gonna add that either. Where is this building, which is pretty cool. But uh, I don't think this is the build for it. We have some of these cool office buildings. So I think I think the rest of this build after here is just gonna have some cool offices right along here and we'll, we'll add the tech buildings out uh, this way as well. So this whole area right through here uh, is going to be uh, parking and a park. So I think we'll just kind of detail that out and then we'll probably probably uh, end the episode there. So let's just start with the parking lot. How about that? And we'll run the parking lot. Make sure we're node snapping. And we also need our guidelines. There we go. Just like so. That works. And then we'll run with the smaller one right along here. Yeah, that works for me. And there we go. So then I'll just make this one uh, even. You know what? Let's just undo what, what we did. Because I want to make sure that this is going to be okay. So maybe we'll say that this is all doesn't really work out, does it? Okay, let's, uh, let's just delete those things. And what we'll do is we'll get this to swing down. And then we'll get a bit of a bigger... Should we? I don't know. I don't know if the parking lot should be over here. Maybe the parking lot should just be on this side. Because there's no parking on this side, so it makes a bit more sense. Gosh, sometimes the guidelines are so helpful and sometimes they're just so not. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Connect in like that. Hey, there we go. 
And then perhaps what we'll do is we'll get a road like this through, through here. So then uh, it looks like this is how you park um, in here. Perhaps maybe even we upgrade this whole thing to this size. How, how will this connect if we do that? No, it looks silly, okay. So I'm thinking maybe we need to get a way that it looks like cars can park over here, right? So I was thinking maybe we just do that. It looks like they have to hop a curb, but they'll have to do that anyways with, with any road that we get, right? So uh, why don't we try the industry road, see if that uh, looks any better. That looks a bit better. Okay. No, and then we'll go back to this one. Alrighty, and then we'll just grab this and we're going to just extend it out until we start getting some glitching. So that's, that's about right there. And we'll bring it back, same, same thing. So it looks like we're getting some glitching already. Uh, maybe the node controller is the solution to this. There we go. I doubt people are going to even really use this. It's more for the looks. So it's fine. It's just a little silly that there's already parking spaces on this. I hope when they make City Skylines 2, if they do, uh, parking becomes a bit more of a serious aspect to the game. Let's make sure that's pulled in too. Uh, maybe we don't need it filled in on this side though. That's okay. Okay, so let's uh, say maybe those are handicapped parking spots because I just wasted a ton of time on just building a parking lot. So uh, we'll get some spaces right in here and here. And then we'll swap over to, that's still too big, that's too big. Swap over to these ones. Okay, there we go. And then I'm just gonna grab the node here and we're just gonna scooch it back to fit in the intersection a bit better. Hey, look at that. Alrighty, so now let's get a uh, pathway. Um, you know what path we're using. The handy dandy zoo path. Just like that. that'll have to do um, and then how about we get uh, a couple of more trees throughout here really come on uh, I guess we'll just have to do it manually whoa that's a big tree cool Those, the addition of the pine trees to our little build has been uh, successful, I believe. Um, all right, so now let's just get a uh, pathway alongside of the Expo Center. And we'll go with the best path in the game, the zoo path. Fantastic. Then we can... Uh, Add some more trees through here. Okay, so now that we've got that in place, let's get some plazas going. So that's a bit too big. Perhaps we get the Paradox Plaza right across the street. And three of them. <laughs> now let's go with uh, the Zoo Plaza. Oh, wrong one. Both sides right here like that. Oh nice, they actually do connect. 
Let's see if we can get this to work. Because this is pretty cool. So we'll just grab that. We'll scooch it over until it lines up straight. Scooch this one over. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, I wonder how far I can pull this back before it complains. Nice, it doesn't complain. Okay, uh, then let's get the best path in the game. <laughs> Sorry, it's just a bit now. Uh, alrighty, and we'll swing this around like that. Over. We'll center this right along here. And that's, that's a bit too many trees, so I think what we'll do is we'll actually just go back, we'll go down to uh, uh, the concrete path. And then what I'll do is I'll just, sorry, just grab these two really quickly, move them up a little bit, and then we'll take our brush and we'll just brush in the concrete around. I mean, it could be concrete or we could make it dirt. That's pretty cool. And we'll try and uh, line this up whoops, with a pathway or something because we do need concrete on the edges right here and we're not on the right angle for it to be clean unfortunately. So I guess what we'll do then is we'll use the basic zoo path and I'll upgrade the ends like so and then we'll have to delete these ends right there and then we'll bring them right in like that on both sides okay and we'll do the same thing on this side so we're not gonna get people through here then unfortunately but that's okay it's more the look that we're going for I think people will still kind of bounce through though which is, is good okay let's try and get it underneath oh I think we need the pavement on this side okay it's gonna be a bit tricky but I think it's gonna work look at all these people come to the expo center I don't know where they're going actually oh the subway station nope yeah they are coming to the expo center that's pretty neat Right, and then gravel in here. Nice! And perhaps if we take a path, oh my gosh, the time really caught up on me. Perhaps if we take a little path here and we turn off snapping, we go from about here to here. Now they should theoretically connect for pedestrians to use. Nice, and the people are still accessing it from the original side too. Uh, perhaps if I just take this though for a screenshot and we just rotate it around Nice Alrighty, and then last thing we're gonna do is we're just going to uh, Add some trees in here uh, Let's go with These ones are pretty tall, eh? Yeah, this is this would not be okay for the airport. These ones are good. Alrighty, and then let's get uh, this one in here too. Maybe we'll have to go the step down. Okay, and then if we get the surface painter out, hopefully the gravel will work nice in here. Kind of. Kind of goes well with that. But maybe we need to get uh, that path. Oh my god, we ran out of time. Uh, <laughs> maybe we need to get that path cheat through here too. With 
the zoo path. And why the zoo path? Well, I think it blends pretty well together. Yeah, oh, this one needs to be scooched over a bit. Okay, and then now we can go into the surface painter again and we'll grab the pavement. Oops. Perfect, look at that. So we're struggling with the surface painter and blending them together. Use the zoo paths. Okay, well, uh, let's get a nice little look right, right in here. This won't be the screenshot for the video. This is just for us to look at. I mean, that's pretty neat. It's a pretty cool looking uh, station at the monorail and train station right here like that. Alrighty, so let's uh, head back over to what we were doing at the beginning of the episode. And uh, look at this. Oh my gosh. Some nice big condos. And uh, improved the height disparity of the area already. And we also got uh, the subway in here as well. So I'm trying to figure out what the, the screenshot is going to be because we didn't, we didn't really do too, too much, but I guess this works. Like uh, too much uh, like building above ground because we did a lot of building below ground. Well, have a great day, folks. Talk to you tomorrow. Peace out.